Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Cars Tavern blog. So we have more on that world of game design slash Jared. Uh, I'll be kind. I'll, I'll say fiasco. Um, this doesn't necessarily look all that good. So I'm looking right at the Facebook page, folks. You're looking right at the Facebook page. Let me read to you what's on this page as of three hours ago. World of Game Design, Kitchen Remodels. Now, when somebody owes their employees salary, paychecks, products, commissions, um, Kitchen Remodels is not generally what you want to see as the Facebook post. But that's what we're getting here. When budgets got tight, we put our employees first. So I negotiated with the wife to swap out our retirement plan to help out. First, this is just my opinion. Employees come first. You pay your employees before you pay yourself. You pay your employees before you pay your retirement plan. You pay your retirees before you pay your wife with the new fucking kitchen. That's just me. I I'm I may be special. I'm I may not think like average people. Why can't I have a new kitchen? Rach would love a new she'd love a new bathroom. Oh my god. Yeah. Rach Rach <laughs> would love a new bathroom. Rach, Rach. I'm be like, Screw over all your co hosts. Would, would, Give me my new bathroom. Would you really say that? No, absolutely no. not. <laughs> no, you would, right? Because you know, reputation is what drives everything in our community. So that's why it was just so easy to make fun of. I know, <laughs> I know, and uh, and and definitely, folks, we could use a new bathroom. I'm just, I'm throwing it out there. I'm admitting that. So she was reticent. But agreed on the condition that I get her a new kitchen. The estimate was pretty high. I can imagine. I can imagine when we got our kitchen done 13 years ago. It was way over budget. It was way over budget because our contractor was good and a family friend who couldn't do basic math. Just saying. Just saying. But, um, the estimate was pretty high, so I decided to conserve cash and rebuild the kitchen myself so the maximum cash could be paid for salaries. I, I You know what? I'm not going to say what I'm thinking. I will give the benefit of the doubt to Jared. Maybe not the best choice in retrospect, but I managed to learn how to rebuild a kitchen with very limited word woodworking expertise. Well, um, limited woodworking expertise is called not expertise. I'm just throwing it out there. If you have limited expertise, you're not an expert. In the end, I think I did a good job. Well, hopefully the poor bastard didn't do his own electric. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> why are shit? Yeah, why your own, why your own <laughs> shit while you're at it? In the end, I think I did a good job, and it only cost about 6000 in materials. Thanks to a bunch of friends who got me supplies on the cheap. There is nothing in this announcement, by the way, that is making me go, Go, Jared! Go, Jared! No. It's almost like he's trying to clean it up now. <laughs> it, it is. It, yeah, it's a cleanup deal going on. I, that's Listen, that's our opinion. Maybe, maybe, maybe this doesn't look to you as foolish as it does to me. But uh, this was my first ornately fit white quartz countertop. I think for many people, it would be your first ornately fit white countertop, quartz countertop with some pretty harsh diagonals. I hope to finish it when things pick back up. Listen. I, don't take this the wrong way, but your employees should always, always come first. All right? 
hate I hate to break it to you. They come before I'm sure your employees are gonna love that kitchen. Yeah, your your employees are gonna love that kitchen. Uh they're gonna be like, Woohoo, let's have some Super Bowl party here. Um, no, they're not. No, they're not. And you know what? Uh in the long run, it's not going to matter two shits to your wife. Honestly. Honestly. Uh, I, I'm not going to delve too deep into that. But in the end, you remodeling the kitchen isn't going to buy you breathing room if this goes to shit. Um, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's not. I hate, I hate to break that to you. So, folks, if you haven't been following the world of game design, follow it. There are numerous posts on Facebook from people talking about their personal experience with the world of game design. I, during the next uh, couple of days, I'm going to try to reach out to a number of these people because they are friends of mine. And I'm going to ask them if they would like a platform to get uh, their word out because their personal experiences speak wonders about the dangers of doing business in a community where a lot of times things are done on a handshake. And we really want to know how they like the kitchen. And yes, we're going to really want to know. Listen, do you think this kitchen I don't really is... really feel about that kitchen. Do you think this kitchen is going to allow you to get paid? Because... You know, maybe maybe that six thousand dollars invested in the kitchen would have allowed some of these people who are out of money to yeah, get paid. Yeah, might have kept them up on food stamps, or you know, I don't know. Benefit, you know, some kind of benefit. So, folks, tell me what you think. If you are somebody who feels like you were, I don't want to use the word victimized. I don't think it's appropriate. But if harmed. you think harmed, if you think you're somebody that was harmed or that the situation with world of game design and your interaction with them uh, was less than fruitful, was not quite as it was billed, um, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I don't think I have the email up on here, but 10cars.tavern at gmail dot com ten cars that tavern at gmail dot com or reach out to me on Facebook if you're a friend of mine. Um because I'd I'd like to know the article that that deals with this at was it at rascal dot com rascal dot news uh is well researched and uh I think that we need to shine light on this. There have been a number of people in the last dozen or so years that have taken advantage of the gaming community. And they get to do this because folks don't shine a light. Rascal News has shined a light. And God bless them for doing it. I don't think... Uh, World of the Game Design is agreeing with me that God bless them, but God bless them. So, again, if if you have a story that you want to share, reach out to me. Uh, I'm happy to give you the platform to share it. I think it needs to be needs to be told. On that note, there are links on the bottom of the screen. Uh, two of them start with 10 cars. There's tavern.games. One is slash humble, takes you to humble bundle. The other is slash DTRPG, takes you to drive through RPG. Both of them are, are affiliate links, how you can support this channel. And if you want to leave us a uh, voicemail, speakpipe.com slash tavern chat. That's international. You don't have to worry about dialing a number. I know some people like doing that, especially if you're on the other side of the pond. All right, folks, on that note, be safe, be well. God bless. Roll those dice. Roll them well. And I guess for the next week, I should probably end with, if you're in the U.S., vote. I don't care who you vote for. I don't care what party you vote for. I don't care if you vote party down the line. I don't care if you stress over every candidate. 
vote. Let your voice, let your vote be heard. If you do not vote, then when you bitch about your candidate or candidates not being elected, but you never bother to cast a vote, your opinion means shit. That's my personal opinion, okay? I voted, Rage voted, we brought my parents to vote, we did this all yesterday, we have early voting in New York City, vote, okay? I'll catch you all later, God bless.